Chester Cat or Mona Lisa. We've been trained to smile with our eyes when our lips like eyelashes are false and the smile is only wearing teeth. Kisses feel like bark up the wrong tree. Eyes shine, glisten like daggers that cut both ways. Tears fall like ice cubes, splash, melt, boil, searing streaks in cheeks that used to glow and swell with joy. Now explode, busting through asphalt creases in your face. Is that what it means to crack a smile? This other piece is titled, What Time Are You? Awareness moves through a string of nows with agility and confidence. Time moves in a straight line like dandelion seeds in the wind, forward endlessly, sometimes slow to the point that it appears to stop, but it doesn't. We barely keep up. We are usually behind. We get distracted by a thing and become attached to that thing. Fall behind the pace of time has set like an alarm clock to go off on someone else's schedule. What does it mean when someone says, don't get ahead of yourself? Is there another you out there moving at a different pace? How does this person know the pace another you moves when you didn't know there was another you? Can you describe the sensation of time standing still? What's the distinction between time and life? The sense of time standing still, life moving forward at the same pace as time, like running neck and neck with time to meet up where you are. The absolute reason for the fencer's exaltation, the explosion, the score, the ela grito, when la belle touche, the beautiful touch has been scored. Ela is French for it's there, or there it is. A convergence in life, a point scored by a line established in time. Life with all its complexities, your mind's synthesis of experiences with life, awareness like an epiphany, acknowledgement of all there is in the moment. But I am digressing. Life is the laboratory where awareness and thought decompose the variables such that action comes through the marrow of human existence. Life comes from all directions. Life goes in all directions through the multiple layers of relevance, concentric spheres configured like, like the rings of Saturn around the core of who you think you be. Some spheres thick and dense enough that they deserve a personality, a thought of their own, charismatic enough to attract strangers, maybe not enough gravity to keep friends. Other spheres thin and fragile like eggshells, fracture under stress, breaking down so easily when it looks so solid, enduring little past the first knock. Genuity, opacity, invisibility, clarity depends on the lens and what you're looking for. Find it by its absence. Look for nothing and see more. When you look to your core, what is there to see? Peace. <laughs>